Hey guys, I have just got up and I'm eating a bowl of porridge and I thought what could be more exciting for you to watch me eat porridge. So yeah, it was a genius idea when I first had it, but now that I'm doing it, yeah, I think, you know, the ideas that I have for vlogs just keep getting better and better and you're welcome. As I'm documenting more and more stuff and making more videos, I'm really enjoying it. The one thing I would say is that it's so difficult. <laughs> In terms of time management, it's difficult because as a musician, and I don't know about other musicians out there who are, who are doing a similar thing in kind of sharing their musical journey. Getting the balance right between filming stuff that you're doing and actually doing stuff. So for me, a lot of days um, are spent practicing and recording and writing songs. Um, and those things take a long time and those things aren't great viewing sometimes because you're working out what works and what doesn't and so I don't necessarily want to show you all that stuff because I don't think it would make for uh, entertaining viewing which is why I got this bowl of porridge and thought here's a good idea for a video so today after I've eaten my porridge I'm going to be filming a vlog about how to overcome setbacks. If you want to check it out, there'll be a link below. After I've filmed that vlog, which isn't scripted, so I have no idea how long I'm going to be sat waffling at my camera for. <laughs> so after I've finished filming and editing that vlog, I'm going to finish a couple of songs that I started writing yesterday. One of them's about my mum and dad. I posted a little story on Instagram and it was kind of really weird and random. I think I got cabin fever from staying in this room and getting a bit too emotional at times, but it's an emotional song. Then after that, I'm gonna have to go to the library. The library's cool, kids, stay in school. I'm gonna have to go to the library because basically I have no printer ink and I really need to print some stuff out. So that's, you know, another fun time of the day. I mean, first porridge and then the library. It is wild. I've already picked a support act for Leeds who I'll be announcing soon. If you come into that Leeds gig, I'll put links below for that and London. Um, it's going to be really good. And I'm still on the lookout for someone to support me in London. So if you know anyone that you think would be a good fit, let me know. Yesterday, I was so busy. I was recording at Songmaster Studios and we were doing a little acoustic thingling that you might hear sometime soon. And then I came back here, had to do some Photoshop stuff for my independent label, which is called Teapot Records, because I'm obsessed with tea. Then started writing those two new songs that I was telling you about. Did I tell you about the other one? No. The first one is about my mum and dad. The second one is called Woman Down, and it's about, um, well, I watched a film on Netflix called Ex Machina, which was quite good. I really love sci-fi stuff and it was right up my street so yeah about, about an 8 out of 10. And it's about artificial intelligence in the form of a human and she ended up getting quite down in the dumps because I don't want to give too much of it away. Basically she, she couldn't get out of the room that she was in and once she did get out she was angry. So then once I finished watching that and thought, yeah, that's good, and then I was thinking about stuff, I wrote a song about PMS. So I wrote the song called Mum and Down, and it's about being in pain and about being angry. I need to record demos for them, but I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to do that today. But if I do, then it'll be a really productive day, so let's try and do it. Right. I finished my porridge and it's time to get on with the day. I know that this video will probably have been my best video today, but I can't I can't give you porridge eating videos all the time. I just don't think I can commit to that much creativity on the morning. Maybe at some point in the future there'll be another porridge video, but as I say, I cannot promise such things. If you like this video and you like porridge, if you don't, put some chunks of banana and honey in. Amazing. Give me a thumbs up below, it really helped me out and yeah. Sorry this was kind of weird.